And my colleague Shivaru right now is in Tel Aviv getting us the very latest on that big story, Shiv. Uh, first of all, give us a sense of where exactly you are and also talk to us a little about the manner in which Hamas, in fact, essentially continues to be unrelenting. Rockets continue to get fired to Tel Aviv. We put that report out that you had sent essentially. Both sides are unrelenting. Of course, they say this is in retaliation. Uh, Sneha, that rocket attack that I uh, was caught in yesterday wasn't in Tel Aviv. That was uh, actually in a place called Rehovot, which is about an hour and a half outside of Tel Aviv. It's in central Israel. Uh, that was while we were on our way to the Shura military base, that report that our viewers just saw, uh, where I was among the few reporters who uh, you know, uh, got access uh, to those containers containing the, the remains and the body parts of thousands, uh, you know, hundreds of uh, people who were killed on October the 7th. Uh, you know, that rocket threat continues to, uh, you know, a hang over the heads of uh, people here in Israel and I can tell you I've been here only a few days and I'm already used to uh, you know the rocket sirens uh, it, it becomes second nature as soon as you hear the sirens you've got to dash no matter what you're doing park your car in the middle of the road and dash right into uh, you know rocket shelters and there are many rocket shelters all over the place including here where I'm standing right in the heart uh, of uh, uh, you know Israel's commercial capital uh, the, the, there have been some big developments today uh, after yesterday's visit to the Shura military base over Night, there have been some important attacks there, uh, including an airstrike on a tunnel structure that Hamas had, uh, had constructed using the sea route in a place called Zikim, which is in South Israel, very close to the Gaza border. That's something that has uh, raised alarm bells because it means that uh, not only is Hamas trying to, uh, you know, uh, still fire rockets into Israel, but is also attempting infiltrations, which means it wants to continue to try and, uh, you know, perpetrate terror on the people of Israel via the land route. Uh, second, uh, the front with Syria that we've been talking about has gone completely to the next level. It has exploded. Uh, there was artillery fire by the uh, Israeli army on Syrian army positions. Uh, Syria, of course, is aligned with Iran. So this becomes another Iranian proxy against Israel. The, you know, the bombings of Hezbollah positions in Israel's north, uh, you know, in southern Lebanon have also uh, increased quite a bit. I think there, there were about 15 to 20 bombings that took place. Hezbollah is, of course, firing back uh, at Israel. And finally, in Jenin, which, uh, which was a location in the West Bank, Palestinian territory where, uh, uh, you know, I was uh, uh, the, the first one to get there and actually report from there, there's been a strike by an Israeli drone. Uh, so, uh, in effect, what we're looking at is an expanding conflict, which is uh, uh, which Israel is sort of fighting in four different directions at this point of time. But right in the middle of all of it, Sneha, is that big question about the ground operation. I was in southern Israel yesterday with my own eyes, even though there was very restricted access because of pressure building on the border with Gaza. Uh, very visibly, there, there were a lot of tanks, a lot of artillery, M109 artillery, a lot of AP, uh, 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 armored personnel carriers, lots of army movements in that area which we couldn't really film adequately. But I saw it with my own eyes. It looks like preparations are in full swing for that elusive ground operation. But 19 days into this conflict, I can tell you that the concern remains that Hamas is better prepared. They've had the time to arm despite constant aerial bombings by the Israeli Defense Forces. Uh, but like we've been reporting, some limited special forces operations have already begun from the ground. So that's where things are at at this time on the ground here in Israel.